welcome to Books in Key. I am Key, and today I will be reviewing *The Transition Baby* by Tori Peters, which is one of the books on the long list for the Women's Prize 2021. I meant to review this ages ago when I finished it, but better late than never, I guess. Um, so this book is written by a trans woman. and it really did teach me a lot of things and raised a lot of questions in my mind so one of the main characters in the story is aims so aims used to be a man and when he was a man he felt uncomfortable in his skin and he felt like he wanted to be a woman and so he transitioned into being a trans woman named aims and amy again still did not feel comfortable in her skin she found the experience of being a trans woman very very difficult there was also a lot of discrimination and prejudice and problems that she faced and so she transitioned back to being a man and being a man named aims now this is something that i did not know was possible or that happened so this is something that was eye opening for me and i'm really glad that i was exposed to this because this is something that i'm glad that i know about now um aims is a character who still remains kind of confused even after the transitioning from being a trans woman um he still feels insecure about himself about his identity and there is something about aims which i did not like which i will reveal as i tell you a little bit more about the story but suffice to say he is not one of my favorite characters in this book now while amy was a woman she was in a relationship with another trans woman named reese now reese is a very multifaceted character so on one side reese is in a lot of toxic relationships especially with married men she's having these affairs she's wrecking lives she's selfish she's manipulative she will tell lies to get whatever she wants so this is a side of reese that is absolutely terrible and one that i hated but on the other side there is a vulnerable side to reese where you know she longs to be like the cis women that she sees she longs to be a mother she longs to live what she thinks of as the normal experience of being a woman and so this side of reese is something that really touches your heart so reese is a character that i kind of had a love hate relationship with then we have our third player katrina now katrina is in a relationship with aim they are work colleagues um and she accidentally gets pregnant so now we have aims who still has this confusion within him he thinks he can be a parent but he is sure that he cannot be a father figure to this child he is not sure what is going to happen um when this child is born so what does he do he decides that in some utopian world he can create this triangle of parenthood where one of the sides is him one of the sides is katrina and then the third parent in the relationship is reese he knows how much reese wants to have a child and so he preys on those maternal instincts and somehow drags her on board and this is why i cannot stand in he manipulates katrina in trying to get along with reese and trying to introduce her to this idea of a parental reason and he manipulates reese because he knows how strong her feelings about being a mother are and somehow tries to convince her that no despite the fact that katrina and i are having the baby you are going to be an equal co-parent you are going to be a third parent and you will have as many parental rights as we do that my friends is a terrible move 
Now the interactions between Katrina and Zeus are uh, quite interesting to say the least because both of them are trying to get on board with this idea of this parenting triad that you know Ames has introduced. They end up spending quite a bit of time together. Katrina introduces Reeves to her sis friends, which is something that Reeves really longed to do. So that was kind of nice. But again, the whole situation is so fucked up that you know it, it's hard to believe that these two women would actually try to do this for Ames and for this baby. The ending is very open and so it made me feel like I wasted my time reading this book and also investing myself in these characters mentally and emotionally. The writing is also all over the place. It is very repetitive. I felt like Tori Peters kept circling back to the same points again and again at times and that was very unnecessary. So while the idea behind the book was great, the concepts that I was introduced to were great, the general execution of the book was not great, it could have been so much better, it could have been given a stronger conclusion and it could have had tighter and better writing. So this book. I cannot give it any stars because this is not my lived experience. I am not a trans person. I do not know trans people and so I am not going to read this book. But let's just say I enjoyed reading this book but it left me dissatisfied at the end and that's all I am going to say. Thank you so much for watching this review guys. Do not forget to subscribe. You get free bookish content every single week if you subscribe to Books and Free. Thank you so much for watching guys. I will see you in my next video. Bye.